How's it going everyone? Maximilian here and welcome to another video featuring Modern Warfare 3. As you guys are noticing this is once again on Jungle which is one of my arguable favorite maps and what I think is actually the best map in Modern Warfare 3 even though it comes with a bit of its downsides and I'm using the uh, MK14 and this gun is I think naked right now so don't expect anything too intense because I was just leveling up the weapon and I didn't get too much of a chance to use it. But um, what I wanted to do for this video, um, and my apologies that the video isn't like an extremely offensive like montage type gameplay video, I think this, this gameplay is just a good example of playing smart. Now, playing smart is kind of a, a weird thing in the Call of Duty universe, especially when you make gameplay videos on YouTube or the internet and such because people like seeing offensive gameplay and I could hardly hardly disagree with you. I, I like seeing the same thing. I like playing like that a lot, but it's either going to work or it's going to go horribly. And depending on certain factors that games like Call of Duty have, like netcode and things along that sort, if you go in rushing blindly to certain areas, it's up to your skill to stay alive, but there's a lot of factors outside of your skill that will get you killed. And whether it's the low health of this game, whether it's, you know, several things, that was a bad decision right there. If you guys saw what I did, I actually went out knowing that that guy was there, and I got shot, and he was just in a better position to take me out. So, uh, the, the, the early deaths in this game are, are me learning of what's going on. What I want to do is, I really want to help some folks get better at Call of Duty, and I haven't really done that directly. Um, I've offered some gameplay tips and advice, things like the Osprey Gunner Loop, which is good, but the, the majority of people uh, that are playing Call of Duty won't get an Osprey Gunner. They're not going to get these higher end kill streaks, and they're not going to get Moabs, and that's really helping out the larger majority of people that are already really good at games like Call of Duty. So what I want to do is I want to start making more gameplay videos because I still really enjoy playing these games to an extent. However, I want to I want to do it for a different reason other than just showing off like great games and gameplay. I really want to give people my perspective of what's going on during during the games you're watching like right now and show you what's up. Like right here at this moment, I I have stingers active on this class because the goal of I think any assault kill streak class is to get your assault kill streaks. That's the whole point of you using it, and if you're not using something like a Stinger as a secondary, I don't know what you're doing. I, I think Modern Warfare 3 was designed to help out the people that are trying to support their team, and things like Stingers taking down UAVs and stuff like that gives you points towards your point streaks, which in turn makes it easier to get towards your higher end kill streaks. Things like Stingers are absolutely necessary, and if you're if you're running around this game and you're using and you're using assault kill streaks, you, you gotta use Stingers. Like, please, just do it. You'll find yourself getting a lot more kill streaks way quicker and wow, the top of that dude's head is showing and I, I can't believe I was actually able to take him out. But the, the goal of these videos is to kind of put you in the perspective of what I'm thinking in a, in a good game. And for you guys that are asking, what I think is a good game is a game that's over 60 kills and has like a 10 kill death ratio. That, that, that's, a, that's a good game and that's something you can talk about. How the hell did you get that many kills, how the hell did you not die that many times? I think that's really important. Anything above that is just like spectacular and awesome. It doesn't happen too often for myself, but every once in a while you get one of these really special 50, 60 plus kill, non uh, uh, 10 kill death ratio type games. And I think it's good to talk about what got us to this situation. So right now I am rocking the Reaper. My kill streak loadout is the uh, Predator missile into Reaper into Osprey Gunner. This is a high-end kill streak, or the highest-end kill streak setup you can be using in Modern Warfare 3, and it's for the sake of getting a lot of kills really fast. Even though things like the Osprey Gunner can be pretty easy to shoot down, what's hilarious is that if you use something like an LMG now and you use uh, Blind Eye Pro, which adds more bullet damage, you can you can shoot down kill streaks in the sky with less than like 50 rounds. I wow, oh my gosh, look at this situation. They don't know I'm here, and I oh I switched weapons just in time. Uh, I, I didn't realize I didn't have that many bullets in the gun, so I picked up another one, and that dude was looking right at me. So that that's actually a space I like to go to a lot if I have um, a kill streak up. You have to find these these neutral spots on the map where people don't usually travel to, and you're going to be relatively not seen. However, the big issue is that if you get into a kill streak and you decimate with it, when you come out of your kill streak, you're going to get murdered. Like there are going to be dudes absolutely everywhere waiting to destroy you. Uh, so here comes the Osprey Gunner, the first one, and in, in a map like this, you really need to know where your opponents are going to be spawning. 
Uh, it really helps if uh, you're able to get the drop on people because of this thing called the Osprey Gunner Loop, which I've explained many times. All, all it means is that you tag the people that are spawning with respawn armor, and you don't actually kill them. You let your teammates kill them first, and those assists go towards your next kill streak because you have Hardline Pro, uh, which is going to happen right here. I see that that guy is popping right around there, so they should be showing up around this area over here, but I don't see any movement, which is why I like to keep in, keep in this view. It makes it easier to see targets. So it looks like they're all in the caves right now. Gonna keep the focus of fire on A, uh, but it looks like a few of the guys were able to cap it and I wasn't able to stop. The movement of the Osprey Gunner can be really annoying on certain maps, and on other maps, it's almost completely useless to run something like an Osprey, so you just don't really wanna do it. Uh, I'm in that corner right there, and I almost lit myself up with my own Osprey Gunner, so you really gotta be careful where your own location is, because your assault kill streaks are gonna reset, and the whole point is that you're gonna be able to run the loop one more time. But these guys are all up in the caves, and look where I'm at. I'm in the caves. They don't know I'm here, because I was in that spot where, I, like I was saying, you hanker down, and people don't know where you're at, so my aiming is just horrible at the moment, because there's so many targets that I want to shoot. But just take it slowly, I have an MK-14, it's gonna take two bullets to put these guys down at close range. And that is how it goes, so all of a sudden, look where I'm at. I've got a Predator missile because of the previous kill streak, and I'm about to go into a Reaper if I get one or two kills right here? There you go. Reaper's gonna go up, and we'll see if we can actually get another Osprey, but I'm actually uh, sitting a little carefully in this corner because... I think they know I'm here now. Uh, now that all that crazy madness is happening and I was getting behind him, time to get to a new area. Uh, sit down and pop out the next kill streak. So the Reaper is up. I'm going to focus all the fire around the areas of the map that I don't think my team is going to be going. And essentially, that's how you're going to get the most kills with something like a Reaper. Get them on the spawns. Get, look for the guys that have blind eye on. You're going to see them moving and take advantage of that stuff. Um, yeah, man. I, I on a map like this, it really helps because it's a big open map, and a lot of there's not a lot of open maps in other uh, uh, in, in other Modern Warfare three maps that you can just like shoot guys. That's what I really hate about this game sometimes is that you can't shoot guys with your kill streaks if there's buildings and freaking places to hide everywhere. So that makes it a little confusing, a little frustrating. Um, it's not like previous Call of Duties, but these guys are just spawning right into it. There was a double kill immediately and dropping the Osprey for the friends on the team. And let's see where I can get with this one. Uh, blast them away right at the start. Try to look for those targets that are moving but aren't, are not friendly. Things like that. Uh, when, you have, when you have an Osprey, you have to assume that you're gonna get shot down fast. And in this situation, I've already hammered the team with the previous Osprey, so there's a good chance that they're trying to shoot me down relatively quick at the moment. Uh, there's, not, there's not very many situations in Modern Warfare 3 where you can put up a kill streak and have another kill streak similar to it come up right after. Wow, that stealth bomber dropped right underneath me. That was pretty cool looking. Um, but yeah, it's just about controlling the map, understanding where where the team is. This was kind of a an introductory video to this this new series I want to do, which is introducing people of how to get better at Call of Duty. And if you take my example, in these situations where I have these extremely good games and decision making, uh, wow, get all those guys off C, looking at the targets that are that are not red box but are uh, but are just moving. And once again, my, the position I was in, where I put down my kill streak, oh, they were all around me right after. So that always happens if you have a successful kill streak run. You just have to deal with it. But we're definitely winning this game right here with a couple of really quick and lucky shots. I'm able to take down a few more guys, and I actually have another Predator missile, and I'm aware that they're spawning right in front of me. So here we go. A turkey shoot happening live right here. Two, three, four guys down. That was an immediate double kill right there. I have a Reaper, but there's a dude sitting behind a good piece of cover so with this last reaper i don't know i can't get it i can't get another osprey gunner that would have taken too long but the reaper will get as many kills as possible um with these high kill games it, it's possible to do stuff like wow did i just shoot out a strafe run on accident that was crazy if it's possible to get really high kill games in things like using the specialist and stuff like that but for those really high kill matches assault kill streaks are a lot easier to do and if you're just able to use the resources you have available and understand where the enemies are coming from on the map you'll do a lot better with things like higher end assault kill streaks and even low end assault kill streaks but i hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you want to see more call of duty please leave a thumbs up below thanks for watching guys this has been maximilian signing out